I was browsing Twitter, and I come across this tweet. Player RNG, unlock any user on the platform. At first I was like, oh, this is just another RNG game. But then I thought about it for two more seconds. This is the best idea I've ever seen. So we all know Souls RNG blew up and it gave birth to Blades of Chance, Anime Roulette, all of these other aura rolling, spinning, gambling games. To me, they're not that interesting. I, like Souls RNG is, is of course the most interesting, but the other ones just, eh. Like, whatever. But this one. Hasm, you are a genius. I I applaud you. These other games have to make all their own rarities. They have to make up all these numbers and all that and this. Hasm doesn't have to lift a finger. I think there's like, what, 5 billion accounts? Let me check. So go to myself. I'll try 5 billion. So 5 and then 9 zeros. Yeah, so there's at least 5 billion people. This is a September account of last year, so there's probably a lot more than that. So that means this game has 5 billion auras already made for it. Like, people are gonna hunt for rare usernames, rare user IDs. There's so many things, like, that go into a Roblox account that people care about. All the traders, they fawned over, like, three-letter usernames. All the same with all the old Roblox people. The old Roblox crowd goes crazy over these one-word usernames that are super simple and aesthetic and stuff. Over 5 billion possibilities. Abilities. We can already see people already have their accounts. You click the roll button and it'll give you a random account from the 5 billion plus that exist on Roblox. It'll give you their avatars. I feel like the rarities are based off of multiple factors. Like this guy is a four letter name and a legendary rarity because it's a four letter name and there's like no more four letter names on Roblox anymore. I've got King Puffy Fish with a rare. This guy just rolled a bacon. Like, how unfortunate, man. Zach G, a mythic. This guy's got a cool one. He's got knockout, but with a C. Look, another one with, with an initial and a name. So you got M. Lewis, and that's a legendary. So it seems like the, the really short usernames are automatically put into a good category. And this game is super new, by the way. It, like, just came out. It only has 30k visits, and he's still testing it. But 10k likes, and they'll continue updating the game. I'm actually curious to see where this could go. So if you do end up playing this, please like the game, because this could be really cool. Time to roll. See, it's going through the user ID. I just got like the worst one possible. I think my user ID is like in the billions. Yep, that's in the billions. This is not worth anything. I wonder, what if you roll yourself? I think rolling yourself is like the biggest flex. I feel like that would be worth more than any rare username. Just rolling yourself. Oh, we're in the three billions now. You just want to screw me over even more. Another billions. Awesome. We got an uncommon. This one is 86,189,376. My account is actually older than this one. This one would be around like 2016, I think. Yeah, the user, it says the user ID is sub 1 billion. So that's a whole other rarity class in itself. It should show more information like the join date of the account and stuff like that. Oh, I got a rare. What's this one? 9,139,821. And the user ID is sub one, is sub 10 million, I think that is. The number's so small, I can barely read it. Yeah, okay. User ID is sub 10 billion, so I get extra 20 stars. I'm actually enjoying this, oddly enough. Because if you've watched my other videos, you'll know I'm not too fond of these RNG games, but this one's actually interesting. Oh, I got another rare. Oh, I got an account in the two millions. Two million, thir 340,671. User sub five million plus 25 stars. Okay, I'll take it. CJ2121. This guy's got a three letter name, VDU. Oh, this one's cool. The Boogeyman. This one seems like it should be a lot rarer because that's like a, a big pop culture thing or something, right? This account must just be so old. GFDDG, DF, uh, GDD, GFDDF. We got a three letter name here, ZQT. Oh, you can tell this guy's old. He's got a VIP shirt. Lucraloss. I've never seen that Roblox hat before. I'm just gonna assume this account is super old, especially for the uh, the outfit, since it's got the default face. Oh, sorry, bro, my bad. Look at all these legendaries, holy crap. Lurking Lotus, Ball, A40, 7up2. Lurking Lotus is pretty cool. Nobody's had anything crazy though. I'm looking for something like one in a gajillion. I want something, I wanna see something rare. A rare. 2,310,015. This guy's got style, man. He's got knuckles and everything. For an account this old, I'm surprised shirts back then existed like this. And it's pretty obvious this guy has not logged on in uh, a long time. Another rare. Pretty basic, not gonna lie. Brian1047. You are a basic boy.
Wait, 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 wait. What, what is this? 227,054. Jackie. Their name is just Jackie. I'm surprised that wasn't taken earlier. And look at this. He has like drip and everything. I'm gonna look this guy up actually. Jackie. Offline for five years. And he logged on in 2018. That's not bad. He knows. He knows his worth. And he joined in 2008. He only has a few badges though. What are these? Welcome to Roblox High School. That's expected. That game is ancient. Visitor. Visitor for this game? Oh, this game's old. 2015. Uh, jailbreak. This guy was active until 2018. That's actually interesting. I'm glad I got like an interesting account. The guy didn't just abandon it. He's a real one. He's a real one. Hello, I'm Fun Poop. What, a, what an excellent account. Oh, I got an epic. 413,080. I know this guy created his account and did not touch it ever since. He created this sometime in 2009 and never touched Roblox after that point. I'm not even gonna bother looking up your name, Con1. Everyone is just rolling rares, uncommons. There's like a few legendaries sprinkled in here and there, but it's not going well for a lot of people. Why am I not bored yet? This is concerning. At this point, usually I'd just be gone, but I can't stop. I got another legendary! 7,000! Wait, that one's actually really low. Well, let, let's look him up. Let, let's look him up. Killer06. And he's still online. 2006. This guy actually, you know what? This is probably password guest. Yep, this is password guest. Oh my god, no. So 2012. And he got a badge from 2020. And then three years later, 2023. And then he's got like me to four character and these name snipe games. Man, I ugh. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's password guest or not. Well, hey man, if you're not password guest, leave a comment. But if you are, then scram. I saw someone with something more rare. It was like 100 stars. I forgot what it was though. Oh, this guy's got a mythic. A th CFG. This is actually fun. I like this. Good game. This is a good game. My mouth is like moving and stuff. It's it's so weird how they can like process that in real time. I'm new to this stuff. I'm like an R6 idiot. I'm stuck with it. You sound like an NPC to me. The highest rarity is like, it's, it's either legendary or there's like one above it. Cause I've not seen anything above legendary. What's the rarest thing you guys have seen? Um, oh, guy in front of us. um the mythic cane. Yeah, that guy. I've not seen a single thing above mythic. I don't think there is. It's none, bro. Uh, yeah. Please like the game. Please. I want this to be updated more. I will play it. I'll, I'll buy whatever. I'll, I'll play it. Please update it.